What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I would like to talk about cornerback AJ Terrell, but if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content. Hit that like button for your boy. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to follow your boy on Twitter and Instagram, you can follow me at Jutalk Sports. If you'd like to donate to my channel, you can donate to my cash app, which is the dollar sign Jutalk Sports. And if you'd like to be a part of my Jutalk Sports membership, you can hit that join tab here on the channel as well. But with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So in today's video, as I mentioned, I do want to talk about cornerback AJ Terrell and why is AJ Terrell not getting interceptions or why is AJ Terrell's interceptions numbers down uh, this season? Cornerback AJ Terrell has zero interceptions and he also had zero interceptions last season. Uh, as you guys know, we are coming up on the last game of the season. So this could possibly be the second straight season that AJ Terrell has uh, zero interceptions, um, which could be alarming to some fans. Uh, but today, I found it very interesting. I was checking out Jerry Gray's press conference, which he's our defensive backs coach for our Atlanta Falcons and also, I believe, our assistant head coach. And he also played in the NFL. He was a Pro Bowl a defensive back when he was in the league. And he basically uh, was asked a question by one of the writers or the journalists of why A.J. Terrell um, isn't getting interceptions or why they feel like he's struggling to get interceptions. And he basically stated that Usually man-to-man -man corners don't get a ton of interceptions. Um, he basically stated when he evaluates corners, he basically looks at pass breakups or PBUs. Um, and if the cornerback is getting a lot of pass breakups, if they're a man-to-man -man corner, uh, that's mainly what he looks at when he's evaluating a cornerback. He says, he's, he says he also evaluates is the cornerback in the right positions where there's an opportunity for the cornerback to get an interception. And in these cases, he did state that he believes A.J. Terrell is playing really, really well this season. And he talked about um, the, him being matched up against the number one wide receiver on a lot of different teams uh, this season. And he's played really, really well. He played well against Mike Evans, who's one of the better wide receivers in the league. Um, he didn't play really well against D.J. Moore last week. Um, DJ Moore did kind of have his way, but the Bears did a good job of moving uh, DJ Moore around. They put him in a slot a lot to try to get him away from AJ Terrell. And I really feel like um, the main issue with AJ Terrell is he's a man to man corner. We played a lot of man to man defense this season because Ryan Nielsen plays a very aggressive style defense where he likes to blitz linebackers and blitz corners and safeties. Um, AJ Terrell, a lot of the time, because he's playing man to man, his back is to the football. So it makes it really hard for him uh, to, you know, make interceptions and things of that nature. Uh, usually if he does get his hand on the football, it's usually a pass breakup. Um, in the press conference, Jerry Gray did state usually cornerbacks that are playing zone coverage or play uh, plays off. Uh, plays off the ball, meaning they're not impressed man-to-man -man coverage, usually gets more interceptions because they can read the quarterback's eyes. Uh, similar to De'Ron Bland that plays with the Dallas Cowboys this season who leads the league with eight interceptions, usually guys that play off where they're not impressed man-to-man -man coverage, usually those guys, he stated, usually gets you know more interceptions. Now, do I believe that A.J. Terrell has had opportunities the last two seasons to get interceptions and he possibly dropped them. I do believe he had uh, he's had numerous occasions where he could have come away with interceptions uh, where he just didn't make the play. But usually AJ Terrell is in the right place at the right time. And I did do a video uh, earlier a couple months ago where I talked about I would pay AJ Terrell after this season. Um, AJ Terrell's uh, rookie contract will be up, I believe, after this season. And I wouldn't bat an eye. Uh, I would definitely go ahead and pay AJ Terrell. I do believe he's a bona fide number one defensive back in the league. Um, I just feel like a lot of fans, they focus on the interception numbers, but they're not you know, doing the film breakdown. They're not paying attention to the PBUs or the pass breakups and things of that nature. They're not looking at AJ Terrell being a complete corner, meaning he can play, uh, you know, play zone. He can play press man coverage. He can play off. And he also tackles really well. So AJ Terrell really doesn't have many weaknesses in his game. He is a guy that's a long cornerback. He's 6'1", 
about 195 pounds, but he's fearless. He's a guy, like I said, that will come up and tackle in the run game. Uh, doesn't miss a whole lot of tackles when he wraps up uh, on, you know, on opponents. But he is one of those guys, like I stated, that I would pay. I wouldn't bat an eye. I wouldn't go into the draft and roll the dice to try to find another A.J. Terrell. A.J. Terrell is one of those guys that has developed here in Atlanta. Um, he's from the state of Georgia. And I do see the Falcons paying him. Um, and I do think he's worth the money, even though he's not getting those interceptions. I really feel like um, interceptions can be a microcosm of a lot of different things. As I mentioned, him playing a lot of man-to-man -man corner um, with his back being turned to the football. Another thing that I noticed in that Bears game is the Falcons were not getting a lot of pressure. So when you're not getting any pressure, the way that the rules are in today's NFL, where you really can't touch wide receivers after a certain number of yards, it's really, really hard uh, to play defensive back because they allow the wide receivers to be a really aggressive with pushing off and things of that nature. And they don't allow defensive backs to be as aggressive um, on the defensive side. So all of the, the rules are on the offensive teams, you know, the offensive team side. So on the offensive side of the ball, most of the rules are in their favor. So it's really, really hard. I feel like outside of the quarter, uh, quarterback position, defensive back probably is the second hardest position to play in the NFL because you're out there on the island by yourself. And nowadays, these wide receivers are very, very athletic. Usually they are a lot taller or bigger than the defensive back. And all of the rules are in their favor. So with that being said, you got uh, you guys give me your thoughts on uh, A.J. Terrell. Uh, do you believe um, A.J. Terrell should get paid after this season? And do you believe or if you want to give your thoughts on why you believe A.J. Terrell is struggling to get interceptions over the last couple seasons? Personally, like I said, I believe it's a lot of different things that could factor in. But I thought it was very interesting that Jerry Gray stated, you know, that he's coached a lot of really good cornerbacks that didn't have a ton of interceptions, guys like Xavier Rhodes, guys like J uh, Jair Alexander for the Packers. Um, he stated that those guys are man-to-man -man corners as well, and they didn't get a ton of interceptions. But with that being said, you guys give me your thoughts. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up, be blessed, peace.